This is one of the most important parts of the process that gets the fresh milk into stores and then into your refrigerator. The dairy farms in the southeast and the rest of the country either belong to a cooperative or co-op or sell their milk directly to the processors. At the plant, the milk is pasteurized, separated into milk of different fat percentages, or used for yogurt, cheese, butter, ice cream, or other dairy products. That raw milk is transported in large tanker trucks from the farm to these processing plants. When the driver arrives at the farm, he takes a sample of the milk from the bulk tank and takes it with him to be tested at the plant for antibiotics and other safety tests. That's because if there are any traces of antibiotics in the milk, they will not unload that milk into the plant. Processors by law will not accept any milk containing antibiotics. This is a big deal for farmers and provides a lot of incentive to make sure their milk is pure. If any milk that tested positive for antibiotics makes it onto the tanker, it gets tested at the plant. If that sample comes up positive, not only does the tanker have to be dumped out, the offending farm has to pay for the entire tank load of milk. That means several thousand dollars. Not to mention there was lost profit from dumping all of the milk. Sort of a double whammy. No dairy farmer wants to lose that much milk and also pay a fine for it. They also risk losing their permit to sell milk. That's just one of the reasons they work so hard to make sure their milk is pure, safe, and healthy when it's picked up by the processor. And you can know it's wholesome when you pour it for your family at home. The entire process is efficient and safe, so in many cases, you can have farm fresh milk in stores and on your table in less than 48 hours of it being in a cow. Now that's fresh.